I'm Julie. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, where you get to join us on our journey towards financial freedom. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the variations that you may experience as you are getting started with couch flipping, and we'll break down what the numbers will look like depending on your situation. You basically have two questions that you need to answer. How are you moving couches, and where are you storing them? The first approach is gonna be the one that we had to use. Um, we didn't have a truck or a garage, so I got a hitch installed on my car, and then we had to rent trailers, so we'd do that on the weekends. And then we also rented a storage unit to store all the couches we picked up. I made a list of supplies that you need to get started, things like ratchet straps, a tarp, cloths to clean the couches. So I put a complete list down in the description of what you definitely need and then other things that we've just used every now and then. Um, but the total cost of those supplies was about $150. And so that was like a one-time expense that I put down at the beginning of these charts here. Lucky for you, I crunched the data and made a beautiful chart. Bah! The title, Total Cumulative Profit Over Two Months. And you can see down on this axis here, I have week one through week seven, and I know what you're thinking. I intentionally left out week eight because we did take one weekend off for sanity's sake so we could do other things that we had to get done, also so we don't burn out. So this blue line here, this represents what our situation was, which is the hitch with the trailer rental every weekend plus our storage unit cost. So starting here at week one, this is the profit and loss side. So you can see zero is the break even point. We're in the negatives because we spent money. So we bought the hitch, we paid for the trailer, we paid for the storage unit, and we bought a bunch of couches the first week. So this is like stocking up on inventory. Then next week, we made a couple of sales. So that's why it's a little bit higher. We also picked up a couple at that time. Week three, made even more sales, still picked up a couple couches. Week four, we just barely made it over the break even point. And then week five, that's the new month, so we had to pay the storage unit fee again. So that's why it went down, and we look like we're losing money, but that's okay because we still had really good inventory at that point in time. And you can tell that we sold really quickly right after that first week because zoom, it just went right up there. And it's just going up and up and up now. Now that we've covered the cost of paying for the hitch and um, paying for the storage unit, that's why we've broken even just shortly after the week five or the first week of the second month there. Next, you can see here what the difference might look like if you had to still go with the hitch and trailer rental, but you already had your own storage space. So you can see that already within those first eight weeks, it's gonna make a difference. And if you really think uh, out over time, that's just gonna get greater and greater because that recurring cost of a storage unit uh, is not going to be something you have to pay for if you already have your own garage. The third option would be having your own truck, but still having to get a storage unit. So the upfront costs are obviously a lower cost, not so far. You don't have to pay so much just because you don't have to get the hitch installed. That was like a huge chunk of change. Was it like four or 500 bucks? Yeah, it was like over $500. And then you also don't have to rent a trailer. So that's why this initial cost is so low for owning your own truck already. But as you can see, it still follows the same pattern. Uh, we don't dip back down below into the negative point anymore, which is really nice, where you can see the first two strategies, picking up a hitch with a trailer, you might dip down um, below the break even point, but this one follows a similar trend and you ultimately make a bit more profit than you would if you had to do the hitch and trailer rental. And finally, your best option, if you already have a truck and you already have a place to store the couches, then you're gonna be in a much better situation than any of the other situations because you're not gonna have those initial install costs, you're not gonna have the recurring rental costs, and you're going to get into profit much quicker and then have a lot less recurring costs that are gonna bring that number down over time. So over a period of weeks or months, this one is really gonna take off and separate itself from the others. So good for you if you've already got all those things ready. You'll notice there is a dip going from week four to week five, and that's gonna be attributed to us spending money on couch inventory, not storage unit or trailer hitch rental. Obviously, the lowest cost option would be to already have your own truck and to have your own garage. 
And just to let you know, um, our storage unit is about 10 feet by 20 feet. So that's probably like a small two car garage, very small, or like a very, uh, like quite a large one car garage, um, just for perspective on like your own garage space that you might have. The option that we picked where you have to like rent and buy everything is the most expensive startup option. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. But if you take a look at the chart here, you can see that between um, having to rent everything, using that as a baseline. So comparing that with the actual um, hitch trailer rental, but you own your own garage, that means that you make about $292 more. That's about how much we paid in storage unit rent. So you would save that rent over the two months. Also, if you happen to own your own truck, uh, but had to still rent the unit, then you would have earned, or we would have earned, about an extra $1,000, like $966 is the difference that we spent there. Yeah, so that would be about how much money total we spent only on the hitch installation plus the trailer rentals every single weekend. And of course, the best option being that you already own your own transportation and you already own your own storage facility would have netted us an additional $1,258. So pretty huge difference between the best case scenario and the worst case scenario. Yeah, so if you already have that stuff on hand, ready to go, you're already way better off than other people are who don't have those things accessible to them right away. So basically, the biggest differences comes down to whether you have a truck or whether you don't. If you have a truck, your upfront costs are going to probably be less than $1,000. And if you have to pay for a hitch installation and rent a trailer, then your initial costs are going to be somewhere between 1000 probably up to just about 1500 So um, if you got that money, go ahead and get started. If you don't got that money, we'll make some videos about how to make that startup upfront cost money. So you can do this if you want. Having your own transportation is also going to give you a lot more flexibility on when you can even do this. Uh, we were renting the trailers on the weekend only because we didn't want to pay for that on a recurring daily basis on days we might not be moving couches. So we had to commit our entire weekends to moving couches. Whereas having a truck, you could do a pickup here or drop off there. Lots more freedom, lot less cost. Let us know what strategy you guys are going to have to use. And I'm curious to hear about your numbers and how things go for you. Thanks for joining us again. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you know when we post some new content. We love hearing your questions. We love seeing your comments. And yes, we will be doing more food reviews. So looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody is begging for pets. We are gonna do a bit of a numbers breakdown for you today. I feel like you're a little premature on the smile. Well, I didn't know what you were saying. Yeah, me either. Okay. <laughs>